Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! The Unworld Recharge for the Super Nintendo and is brought to you by GameAnyone.com, also known as a Super Mario World ROM hack. You know, as if this was the very first ROM hack I ever played, which is obviously not, not true if you've been following the channel. Looks like this hack was made by Dotted Boy, I think the first one was made in 2009 and this one is 2011. Hey, can you help me? Bowser trapped me in this glass box so that I couldn't stop him from kidnapping the princess! Get me out of here! He's caught in windows, apparently. Thank god Bowser didn't have a Linux machine. Terra Stop 1? Oh, Mushroom. 1 is Castaway Peninsula. Peninsula spelled wrong, by the way. 2 is Plainsville, Rock Warehouse, Lefty Mountain, Generic Forest, Rouge's Beach, and Showdown City. Well, I guess I can go here as many times as I want if I want more mushrooms. Koopa Clearing. Okay, then. Use it. I'm not reading that. We know how to play Super Mario World. Many of us have learned to play years ago. And in fact, I usually go over the controls in most of these hack LPs anyway. Well, not really. Because they're very self-explanatory. You don't really need me to tell you how to play Super Mario World because a lot of people have. It's one of those timeless classics. Anyways, this level seems quite simple. Then again, it is the very first one. And this music, of course, is from Mario & Luigi's Superstar Saga, a game that I LP'd years ago. And probably the inaugural Christmas special. And then they play some music from uh, Partners in Time. Pretty soon we'll be running into some music from Bowser's Inside Story, who knows? Might as well just snag all these coins, because, you know, we're starting off. I don't exactly have a ton of lives to start with. Well, I got six. So that's not bad, all by itself. However, I think I can do much better. Again, I'm only starting. I'm putting a lot of pressure on myself, you know. Oh! I meant to get the tape. But I didn't do it. Goomba Camp? I hope it's much safer than Camp Krusty. Then you have to find yourself going to Tijuana. Yeah, we know how to pick up items. You can pick up Goombas, you can pick up shells, all kinds of things, like peace switches So these message boxes are pretty much pointless to me because we know how to play the game. Obviously, that's not how I wanted that to go down. I would like to see what's in here. It's probably one up. No, it's Yoshi. This is my pal Yoshi. Blah, blah, blah. You can eat things. Okay. That's all you need to know about Yoshi. He eats things. Oh, and he's green. And he also has legs, and he can jump. He has a saddle. Is he born with that saddle? Or is that, like, something you would just put on him? Because every time you see a Yoshi, they always got this little saddle that makes it easy to ride him. I, I don't understand. Is that really a part of his body? It makes you wonder. Oh, I meant to eat that Koopa so I can spit fire. Surprisingly, I didn't have a message box that told me about that! I missed the tape again. <laughs> Jump training. Why did they wait till the third level to teach us how to jump? <laughs> and this music, of course, is from Sonic 2. Aquatic Ruins, I believe. Yeah, I was never big on the Sonic games. I played, like, the classic games on the Genesis, but... Well, other than that, well, maybe some of Sonic Advance, and then I just lost interest. Sonic games just never cut it for me, because I was never really one for speed. I don't know how some people can play that game, because you need, like, the twitch reactions of a five-year-old to know exactly when to jump, what time to press those buttons, etc., etc. I don't have that good a reaction time. Besides, I was more of a Nintendo guy growing up. That being said, I mean, some people just don't like Mario, either, and prefer Sonic. And that's your opinion. Well, 40. I was hoping for 50, because then I get, like, three lives out of that. 
The Shell Brigade. Okay, this looks like a bit of Mario 3 and Mario 2 tile sets. That's interesting. Whoa, <laughs> shoot. And this music, I believe, is from Super Paper Mario. Interesting. I've had many requests to do that game since I already did the other two. But that's not going to be for a while. I'd like to stay away from that series for the time being. Even though it's been over a year. I can wait a little bit longer. You know what I mean? No rush. Game's still going to be there. Within a few weeks or years or so. Oh, another Yoshi. Yeah, that's right. You can't even take the Yoshis with you throughout the stage. Hey, hey, hey! It's mine. Don't make me forfeit that Yoshi. Because I refuse to. I'll let the stage do it for me. Or, you know, that. Yep, yeah, Yoshi's gone. That's what I get for rushing, you know. Not taking enough time to take in the ambience of this place. Then again, it's a Super Mario World hack. I mean, what's so ambient about it other than the, everything that was designed manually? Okay, not even ten minutes in and already we're at the first castle. Of course, this castle music is from Yoshi's Island, while the background is actually from... Super Mario Brothers 1, the SNES version, and then All-Stars? Interesting enough. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get an extra life from jumping on all these Koopas. But at least I get a crap ton of points. No extra life against that wall, okay. There's a lot of cage walls in this area here. I guess if I really wanted to, I probably could have gotten some lives by jumping on Koopa's heads without, you know, touching the floor. But I don't really need lives that badly that I'm just gonna waste time waiting for enemies. I will, however, waste time just jumping on under coin blocks. And it's out of scroll. Great. Just what I needed. Well, at least there's no crushing, uh, stopper there to deal with. Otherwise, that would be a pain because, you know, there is a low ceiling. You'll have minimal time to react. Okay, why does that one only have, like, four blocks? I think that one's a little bit glitched. Yeah, the user is supposed to have, like, five blocks to extend to- Oh, there is the fifth one. It just wants to come out whenever it wants to, okay. Okay, and that was just Iggy. Oh, the platform was almost completely flat. Oh, well. Save the first Yoshi egg, because apparently that's a thing now. Well done, friend. We make a pretty good team, I guess. Who knows what we will have to face next in this crazy world. I just hope I can make it out of here in time to stop Bowser. This doesn't seem like a very weird place. Just looks standard, really. Okay, so this is what the overworld looks like. Three castles are actually close together? I never thought I would envision that. Nothing strange about the water. Okay, there's definitely something strange over here. I'm seeing these, uh, that's triangle that's sparkling. I'm sure we'll be dealing with that later. A whole bunch of sunken ships around that way. Okay, I just wanted to check to see if that level was a secret exit, and it is. Okay, I think I, when I was practicing this hack, I remember this level looking to be very frustrating. Because it seems like there's a lot of places you can go to. This level looks a lot more scattered than anything you can imagine. So let's see what we'll find first, the normal exit or the secret exit. So I'm gonna stick with the high path for now. Let's see where it leads us. Okay, there's a door. Uh, let's see what's so special about it. 
Oh, which leads to a place of Koopas. Oh, there's something up here. Oh, I think I see where I need to go to get to the secret exit. However, I'm not exactly there. Whoa! Okay, B-switch. I bet you this leads to the secret exit. Mm, but I'm not exactly there yet. Oh, I can get more coins. This music, I think it's from Kirby Squeak Squad. I don't know if it's any other versions of Kirby games. What happens if I go all the way here, anyway? Because I saw a door. Where would that take me? And where is this gonna take me? You know what, I'm just gonna go through the door. No, oh, jeez. It's probably gonna be so easy to get lost here, really. Who oh, knows, maybe this is the way to the secret. Guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh yeah, the enemies, when you kill them, they don't really drop coins. Well, if you use them with fire. Kill them with fire, they don't drop coins. Okay, well, I only did that for coins? Fair enough. Still haven't found the way to the secret exit, and I found, like, a hidden door. you think he'd just be taken to the exit right there? Oh, now we're there. Keep swimming. Okay, so that's another secret exit level in the water. So, let's go back here and get the normal exit. As we're akin to do. In these hacks nowadays. So, why don't I stick on the bottom path? See where that leads. How different the level's gonna be. Oh, now they're just converging. You know what, I'm just going to ignore that door. What happens if I do keep going? This way, I'm gonna get a ton of points by the time I finish this episode. Look, I looked at my lives now. I started with five, and now I got sixteen. I mean, some things never change nowadays, don't you think? Play these hacks, you're very likely to get a ton of lives. Because they make it so easy. Yeah, I know what red levels have. They got two exits. Oh, we could have gone here anyway. Um, what happens if I do end up doing this? Well, I guess I could go through here. I might as well. And then just keep on going when I see that pathway with the three signs. Like, in other words, don't go through that door. What was at the very end of this path when I turned around? Find out. Oh, this is the normal exit. Cool. Forked road? Huh. <laughs> Forked. Okay, this background is from Sonic 1. Okay. And yet they got Mario music playing. Or at least a remix version of it. Okay, apparently I'm gonna need a yellow switch palace to clear out those blocks. But this place only has one exit, so it's not gonna be a factor here. Hmm. Looks like I'm pretty much gonna be committing to the high path the entire time. They'll probably lead to the same spot in the very end. Yep, there we go. I'm gonna need a P-switch for this. For some reason, I don't really think all this is necessary. Wait a minute. What? What is in here? Nothing? What if I use the P-switch? Eh, I think I'm better off just using this to get through.
Okay, well, this is not too bad. Man, they just keep giving you tons and tons of coins. Some acts might give you too much, and others hardly give you any at all. The mole playground? Let me guess, money moles I gotta deal with? The levels just write themselves, pretty much. Okay, one thing I'm starting to notice in this hack is that there, way too often you find these pathways that pretty much both go in the same direction, but one is the upper path and one's the lower path, and it's hard to keep track of them at the same time. I'm just going to be doing this again. Watch. Oh, if I can make that jump. Let me get a running start. Okay, well, this is not too bad. The money moles are pretty easy to pick off. Oh, except for that time. I can't believe I missed him. I, my body was pretty much, like, over him. I don't know if this music really fits this level at all. Because it was originally in some kind of jungle with lots of water. And this is not a jungle, nor does it have water. It has enemies that have their bodies, like, made out of some percentage of water. But that's entirely it. Oh, and apparently that kills you. Okay, I'll just grab the two lives and... Do I have to work my way down? Problem is, I can't really tell which way to drop. Oh, over here. Is there an Oh, there's another pipe. Yeah, and if I keep going, yeah, that's just gonna get me killed. Oh, jeez, they had to explain these two. Okay, the outline's a little bit darker, like, and thicker. Darker and thicker is how I like my chocolate milkshakes, thank you very much, but not exactly my music blocks. Well, they're not my music blocks, but I'm jumping on them as if they're mine. Which pretty much describes how I feel about most of my relationships. Nah, just kidding. They're not thick or black or got notes in them. They are mostly white, though. Well, let's just move on and just continue to go through this level. And this one's stretching a bit longer than I thought. I'm too worried if I drop down there, I'm gonna die. There's a door. Hmm, this level's longer than un unusual. Longer than usual, I mean to say. Not longer than unusual. Because then it'd be quite normal. Ha! Huh, I missed the tape again. Gotta be another wall before I get that bonus stage. Oh, there's the second castle. Yeah, I'll do that later. Alright, so, you know what? I think now's a good time to stop the episode. In the next part, we're gonna do Keep Swimming. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.